Hey, welcome to This Mama's House. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my food storage. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tabitha. On this channel I post all sorts of homemaking motivation, cooking, cleaning, grocery hauls, all that sort of stay at home mom life content. So if you like that sort of thing, I'd love to have you consider subscribing. I'm a wife and homeschool mom to almost six kids. I'm expecting baby number six in about a month. So that's really exciting. But today's video is all about our food storage as a large family. Some of this is emergency prep type stuff and some of it is just our normal food supply. So I know this video has been long awaited and it's taken me a really long time to share it with you and there's several reasons for that. First, this room used to be a complete mess. It was just piled high basically. So recently we got the shelves, we decluttered, we organized and it feels so much better down here. So yes, we are currently downstairs in my basement. I live in Michigan, so most homes around here have full basements. So in our basement, we have a workout area for me and my husband. We also have a play area for all of our kids. And then we have your typical basement storage and of course my food storage, which you are here to see today. So we've really utilized this space as best we can. I'm not sure if we'll ever finish our basement. Maybe, I don't know, but this is not our forever home, so eventually we will move. So we've weighed the pros and cons on whether or not finishing this basement is worth the cost. But if we did finish this basement, this room right here where our food storage is would be our bathroom because that is where it's plumbed for a toilet and a shower and a sink. So we would have to rethink the whole food storage situation. But another reason it's taken me a long time to share this with you is because I just feel like it's kind of a strange video to just share like, here's my food. But I know a lot of people like to see that and I've even recently been watching some food storage videos and I've come to realize that we've made a lot of mistakes on the way. So we've always had stock of food for three to six months for our family on certain types of things just because we like to do one big grocery haul. If you've seen my Costco hauls, you know, we just like to get it all done and not have to go back. But then, you know, everything happened in the world with the pandemic and we decided that we wanted to start a little bit of a stockpile and an emergency prep situation. So we started buying stuff a little bit here, a little bit there. Each time we would go to the store, even if we had stock of something, we would buy it if we knew we liked it. And sometimes we bought things that we don't like, but were a good deal and we thought would be perfect for emergencies. Those are the things that we definitely made a mistake on and I'll share those as I go through what we have. But I hope you guys are excited to see this video. If you are, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you're new, consider subscribing. But before we get started and I show you everything, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Built Bar. They are my absolute favorite protein bars ever. One thing we always have stock of in our house is Built Bars. And honestly, I have no idea what the shelf life of these are because they don't last very long in our house. We eat them up like crazy. This is my favorite flavor, the mint brownie, and it tastes just like a Girl Scout thin mint peppermint um, cookie, and it's just really, really tasty. You can put it in the fridge or freezer for a little extra treat, and they taste just like a candy bar. So if you've tried protein bars before, you know some of them are really gross and they're chalky or dense or they just have this weird aftertaste, not with built. These protein bars are caramely and delicious. The inside is chewy 
and amazing. It literally feels like you're eating a candy bar. They are coated in real chocolate and they are full of protein. This bar has 17 grams. And look at this, it's real chocolate. It looks like a candy bar and I'm telling you, it tastes like one too. This is such a tasty treat and it's definitely a good thing to have on hand. You never know when you need extra protein. So I love having these stocked in our pantry all the time. We love the peanut butter flavor. My kids love the mini bars. They have all sorts of different products and if you use my link down below, you can get a discount on anything on their website. So I've talked about these several times. I love Built and I'll keep talking about them because they're just that good. So thanks for sponsoring this portion of the video but let's jump in and let me show you a little tour around our storage area. So at the bottom of our stairs, our stairs leading up right here go upstairs. <laughs> and that is where we have four steel shelves. These are five tier shelves. They're very good quality. And I'm really happy that we went with these ones. There were some cheaper options, but we have such heavy cans on most of these shelves that I'm glad we went with this heavy duty steel. Then along the bottom you can see we have 10 five gallon buckets. These are food grade buckets and I bought the special spin tops so that our food can stay fresh longer in these types of storage containers. Now on this side over here is where I keep a lot of my kitchen appliances. Our kitchen upstairs is not small, but there's not a lot of room for these larger appliances. So my husband built this little shelf for me, and that is where I keep my Instapot, my Crock-Pot, my extra little espresso maker, air fryer, all that kind of stuff. I have a huge, I think this is 64 quarts, and I have my flour stored in here. It seals it. They're in their regular bags still, but that's where I keep my flour and then I have all of my canning jars here and then this is my pressure canner my water canner and my canning books with the recipes and how to I also have a seed saving book because we do have a backyard garden and that book will teach me how to save the seeds from my vegetables that I'm growing so that I can plant them the following year air fryer, like I said, my extra coffee maker, crock pot, two different Instapots. One is an eight quart, one is a six quart. Up here we have like a little popcorn machine and just like some fun popcorn stuff. This is a food sealer so I can like air seal food. I've never used it. We were given this and I still need to get bags so that I can use it. And then here I just have seeds for our garden. So I should probably figure out a better way to store these so that they're in the dark and they're all just kind of sealed off. Um, but for now, that's where they are. I have my roasting pan and some of these pans that I like to make freezer meals. And then over here, I have two little steel shelves and that's just kind of more for cleaning supplies and things like that. These boxes are full of a product called Asia. And then in here we have hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol, and just little bars of soap. And then we have, <laughs> then we have Kleenex, napkins, Ziploc bags, saran wrap, bleach, dish soap, vinegar, dishwashing pods, Clorox wipes. This is Tide. The Costco box comes with, it's so much Tide, so I just kind of divided it up. I have one stray baby wipe there. I'm not sure why it's sitting there. And then a couple paper towels sitting right here. So that is this side of the storage room. And then over here, I can share with you all of the things that we have and like where I feel we made some mistakes. So that if you want to start stocking and making like a back stock of food, maybe you can learn from me and not make the mistakes that I did. So starting right here, we have extra diapers and paper towel and toilet paper. So for a while there, toilet paper and uh, paper towel was limit one. So each time we would go to the store, we would just buy one 
and stack up. So we never have gone to the store and cleared a shelf of an item. We always just kind of buy a few for now and a few for later and it's just worked out and we've slowly gotten a really large stock of food that way and paper towel and toilet paper. So this shelf right here is kind of more of our regularly used things. Um, so up top I have a thing of baby formula, some pods for my espresso machine, different coffees that we have, and that's like a sparkling drink for the kids. I usually give that to them on New Year's, but we only went through one bottle, so maybe I'll save it till next year. Then we have a bunch of this protein shake mix. I think having some sort of drink mix is a really good thing to store in emergency prep. So we have that. And then this shelf is just kind of like snacks that we have for the kids. Cereal, oatmeal, different chips. I have a couple baking mixes here. So that's kind of stuff that like we filter through quite often. And then down on this shelf here we have honey, syrup, vanilla, oat milk. Um, I don't even know what this is. Granola, chocolate chips. I have apple cider vinegar, olive oil, avocado oil. So olive oil I feel like is one of the things that we bought too much of because it goes bad quickly. It doesn't have a super long shelf life and although we do use olive oil every single day, like this is just a lot. So I'm hoping that it doesn't go rancid before we can get to it, but that is something that I probably won't keep as much of as we go through it. I've just learned that things with really high fat content don't last as long. So of course my built bars are here. And then these are just random things of jello that we whoops that we use for the holidays. So I just have those there. Um, and then this shelf here is kind of like condiments and spices. So another mistake we made was buying these huge cans. This is seven pounds of refried beans, which that's fine if we had like one can of it, but we actually have, here's five right here on the shelf and I think we have more tucked in the corner, but these were on sale for like a dollar and I thought we should, oh, we should totally get those. But the thing of it is, is I'm the only one that really likes refried beans and I'm not going to eat five seven pound cans of refried beans anytime soon. So this is definitely like an end of the world emergency stash, I suppose, because I am not going to go through those. But I mean, when can you even open that and have the whole can before the can goes bad? That would um, be something that I would not buy in the future, but it was such a good deal that you know, without thinking, we just threw them in the cart. Then we have lots of this pink Himalayan salt, pepper, peppercorns. Um, this mayo and mustard we'll use up soon. It's not like an emergency stock of it. We have these big jars of pickles back there. We have balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, um, liquid aminos, barbecue sauce, salsa, lots of hot sauce. Um, down here is more spices. Just all sorts of different spices that we use regularly. And then I'll just fill up my little spice jars that I have upstairs with these big things. And then, oh, here's the, here's the rest of the refried beans. So we have six more cans of it down there. And quickly, I will go through what is in the five gallon buckets. I probably should put labels on them. I haven't decided if I just wanna write with a Sharpie because we could wipe it off with rubbing alcohol or if I should like make a label with my Cricut. Um, so in here we have sugar and this one is pasta. I have two pastas and then I have one with hemp seeds and chia seeds, one with oats and then this one is rice, this is dried beans and then those three are nuts. Now the nuts is another place that I made a mistake and probably bought too much. Although we love nuts and we eat them and they're a really good source of protein, those are high in fat as well and they will go bad quicker than 
some sort of canned meat or something, another good protein source. So as we go through those, I won't restock as many nuts. Um, just learning from experience here. The next shelf here is a lot of canned goods and that's pretty much the rest of this stuff. But we have different types of soup here, um, all sorts of soup. These are corn tortillas, like that's kind of with this stuff that will go through quicker. And then we have tomato sauce, some Chef Boyardee, lots of different broth. And then we have some of these broth bases, um, just some r random spring roll <laughs> wraps. Then we have a lot of pasta here, some Parmesan cheese. I have mac and cheese for the kids. And then this is kind of like where we have different sauces. We have Alfredo and diced tomatoes, just a place where I can make my own sauce and some pre-made sauce there. And then this next shelf, that is just a random box of snacks. There's like bars and different things in there for the kids. And then I have some dried fruit, some dried plums. I have some of my greens powder back there. So I tried to organize it where this would kind of be fruits and vegetables and this would be like meats and proteins and soups. I did my best here. This was a lot to organize and put away. You guys should have seen the before. <laughs> um, but we have peaches, pears, applesauce, mandarin oranges, more Chef Boyardee. That was on sale, so we bought a lot of it. And then I have mandarin oranges, did I say that? Pineapple, pumpkin, mixed vegetables, green beans. I have carrots and corn, potatoes, olives. These are random Chef Boyardee mac and cheese and pasta, some saltines. Um, just all sorts of different soups on this shelf. And then down here are some of the things that I actually canned myself. So I canned some chicken, some green beans, and some beef stew. So I would like to can more this summer when we have a lot of stuff in our garden. I would like to have more vegetables and more fruit. So I'm hoping that I can can some of those things myself. And then we also have these packs of rice, the Uncle Ben's ready rice, some instant potatoes here. And then this shelf, like I said, is kind of like our protein and meat area. So up top we have a bunch of canned chicken. These are chicken bars. And then we have back behind these, we have chili and then just a bunch of different soups. <laughs> so much soup, guys. Um, ravioli, beef stew, these over here on the side are tuna packets. And then we have some sort of like off-brand spam, which I told my husband, why did we get this? We'll never eat that. Um, but he kind of jokes with me and he's like, well, when the zombies come, you're going to want that. So it's just kind of a really inexpensive thing that we found. And it's pretty much just pork. And honestly, it's probably not that bad once you cook it up. This is some um, fish, lots and lots and lots of tuna fish. We love tuna fish, so I think that was a good buy because we'll actually cycle through that kind of food. Um, more Chef Boyardee, like I said, this was all on sale. Um, I mean, it's not all Chef Boyardee all the way back, but that's just what's in the front. There's SpaghettiOs and um, soup and different things. This over here is our canned beans like i said earlier i'm like the only one that really likes beans so we don't have a ton of those but that is a really good protein source if your family does like those then we have baked beans down here then we have a bunch of peanut butter this these two things are full of peanut butter peanuts more peanut butter and jelly um cashews mixed nuts like i said we have tons and tons of nuts probably too many but that is everything on these two shelves. And now I'll take you over to my refrigerator and freezer. So over here in this part of our basement, that's the storage area, I have a little mini fridge, which this just has some drinks, like sparkling water in it. And we have bottled water, not a ton, but we do have a few cases and then this is our extra freezer. We got this on Facebook Marketplace. And in the fridge here, we pretty much have just 
more drinks, a lot of sparkling water, a lot of Zevia, almond milk, um, but we also have lots of eggs. Eggs keep really well and we go through them. Just being a large family, we have butter in here too and a random thing of biscuits. <laughs> then up top, this is pretty full because recently we ordered a half cow and we had to make room. So we put a lot of it over here. We have berries for smoothies, tons of bacon, um, jelly that I made this last summer. This is actually beef liver. So I'm gonna be making that. I have low iron and that's a really good source of it. So um, I got that when we got half the cow. But we have more berries, some frozen veggies, some frozen uh, breakfast sausage, a couple loaves of bread, some pizza, some cheese. Just kind of a random hodgepodge in this freezer. And then in our chest freezer, this baby is pretty full too. Over here we have a lot of um, just like our miscellaneous meat, ham, sausages, there's a whole chicken, hot dogs, ground turkey, all sorts of stuff there. A random frozen pizza, a random bag of green beans, but pretty much the entire bottom of this 14 cubic feet freezer is our cow that we ordered from a local farmer and we had processed at a local butcher. So we have tons of two pound bags of ground beef. We have hamburger patties. And then if you can see down there, we have tons and tons of steaks. I didn't get much as far as roasts because we just don't prefer it. So it was really nice to be able to pick what cuts we wanted for our cow. And then over here I have like fish and chicken nuggets and turkey and just like more random meat. So this is basically our meat freezer with your random frozen pizza and green beans. <laughs> so that is my bulk food storage, guys. I hope that it was all you wanted and more. You've been waiting for this video, so I hope it delivered. I don't know, I feel like this is kind of a strange video, but here it is. This is where we stash all of our stuff. Um, like I said, I would like to get more fruits and vegetables, which I plan to use my canning jars and canning some of that stuff myself this summer, whether I grow it in my own garden, or we go to like a farmer's market, or we go to a farm and pick it ourselves. I think that will be fun to stock it with more of the things that I've canned. Um, it seems to have a longer shelf life, and it's just fun to know exactly where your food comes from. And then another thing that I think would be good is to have some sort of water filtration system. So I've been looking into getting a Berkey for our family, one of the big ones, and that way I don't really have to store a ton of water. I can just have that filter system ready for us. So that's something I'm thinking about. If you have a Berkey and you like it, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Encourage me to get one too if you think it's worth it. But I really appreciate you guys being here today and checking this out. And don't forget to check out Built Bar. The link is in the description. There are so many amazing flavors, and if you've been looking for a good protein bar, this is the one. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!